how complicated is uh, road construction or is it really that complicated? Okay, began. welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be having a walkthrough to one of my current projects which is a construction of the Campantic Bridge approaches here on uh, the municipality of, uh, I mean the city of Toledo which is part of the province of Cebu. Um, bridge approaches merely consist of uh, concrete road pavement which is uh, the primary or shall we say the focal point of this uh, particular video. So I have been in this game for more, more than two years already and uh, that is uh, two years since I graduated from the degree and uh, passed the board examinations but uh, this is only actually the first experience that I had with government projects such as this. Along with the contracts that I have uh, handled here, I have already finished the Laya Bridge and uh, its approaches. So the remaining, which is the, the, the Campantic Bridge, which have actually been finished, uh, actually that's I think December of 2019, and the remaining contract now, which is the last of the bunch of contracts that I have handled here, um, is the Campantok approach construction, which is the it merely consists of the uh, guard uh, parapet of the roads, its sidewalk with wrapping and all sorts, and the uh, major works, which is actually the pavement or uh, road construction. Previous projects that they have there were actually from private firms, so this is actually the the, um, the only project and the, the the first experience that I have had with government projects. So based off of my experience, the, the road construction is not actually a very complicated project. Uh, in fact, maybe it's actually one of the projects that that, that's actually done with the easiest process. However, I can tell you this. The, the main enemy of the road construction is actually the weather. So the unpredictability of the weather is actually the most common uh, weak, weak link for the construction of the road projects. I can tell you why. It's because most especially when, when we are actually creating a new elevation for the roads, which means that we are required to do buck filling activities. So the embankment that we have we are, we are backfilling on the new elevation would actually require us to do that on days that are actually not rainy because that when it is raining and you're actually doing backfilling activities that would cause the backfill layer to soak in rainwater and uh, as a result would greatly affect on the stability of the soil itself and in the great preparation and, and, and the most hassle part is when you're doing the, the concreting process the, the concrete pouring and it, it suddenly rains so, so targeting the schedule based on the weather is actually a very crucial part of uh, road construction so in this particular setting we're actually working at a project where the vehicles are not provided with diverting roads or detours so which basically means that we have to alternately work on the project by finishing one lane before we can proceed to the next so this is the lane so the, the we have to work on the left lane finish the road and cure it uh, we, we are actually curing it uh, based on a 14 day uh, 14 days curing so that that particular uh, finished road would be used for the vehicle so we can transfer our work on the on the other lane alternate so we cannot actually uh, work on both lanes at the same time because of, of uh, uh, the the vehicles they, they don't have any other access provided given the, the situation of the location of the project so we cannot actually provide another 
uh, I mean high teacher or divert diverting roads that they can use. So what's the process of road construction? In the next few seconds, I will walk, walk you through the most basic steps to complete the construction process from backfilling to base preparation to concrete pouring. Let's go. So let's jump right in at the very first uh, most important uh, step in road construction that is the uh, preparation of the base of the concrete pavement. So we have to uh, layer it with item 200 that's a base course layer for the great preparation. And compact it at 100% so in order to get to determine the compaction of the grade we have to conduct a field density test so for backfilling the required am amount is just at 95% but for final uh, we are required by the DPWH to get 100% for the base because that's the final base we're in our concrete pavement will uh, be built into so we are using uh, backhoe and road ruler so the second step is the installation of forms so these forms are actually uh, safer lens that are welded together to to be the form works that's indirect, uh, directly uh, equal to the required thickness of the road as per plan. So while we are installing the forms at uh, the first 60 meters, we are also working simultaneously at the 60 meter to 120 meters length of this first uh, lane that we're constructing so this simultaneous works is uh, to speed up our uh, schedule that is really behind due to the past trains from the past few weeks and month so this is to cope up with that so we are uh, working at 60 to 100 so the 0 to 60 meters road pavement in which the forms are already installed is actually ready for uh, the concrete pouring process and we are just waiting for the targeted uh, good condition for the weather which is at June 9 which is sunny and we are laying blue sheets on those portion to prevent the rain from soaking in to the base preparation so welcome June 9 of 2020 the scheduled concrete pouring the clouds formations up above are actually giving me anxiety uh, I do think that there might be a possibility of drizzle if not heavy rain but i'm actually very optimistic that it will just be drizzle we are preparing blue sheets to cover up the grade or the concrete should that be uh, happen should that happen 
so everything is, pre is prepared already for contingencies just in case rain is going to pour today as it is the scheduled concrete pouring we're just waiting now for the mixer to arrive and uh, here it is the first concrete mixer with a capacity of five cubic meter per delivery so this is from our supplier and uh, this capacity which is five cubic meter is actually just right given the uh, current situation I mean the current uh, site condition so the working location is not actually very spacious so the the area is very restricted so small mixers are just uh, right so we will be starting at the, the end at uh, L is equals to 60 meters and uh, any moment now the first drop of the concrete mixture will be poured down into this base and forms so this will be the concrete pour so this the the if dt is not shown here i was not able to to capture the uh, field density test that was done due to uh, prior commitments but uh, it is important to test the base to realize whether the base is already suitable for the pouring that is actually also required by the DPWH to be done before the pouring uh, the results are actually very uh, sufficient for the requirement which is 100 and we have a uh, compaction of uh, it varies from 100 to 105 percent which is passing now this uh, poured concrete will be vibrated using the, the uh, concrete vibrator to eliminate spaces and uh, air spaces uh, within the forms so that's very important to prevent honeycombing formations there the hose that is if you can see the hose there that's the vibrator that we are using so the the mixture is being uh, spread all throughout and uh, vibrated as we go on through so this will be a uh, planed using manual labor and uh, finished manually so we are doing manual here manual plain manually and finished manually the brooming is also manual so this will be the process the concrete is poured then it will be vibrated then it will be planed and then it will be broomed to get the groove so we are covering it because it's starting to drizzle right now uh, that's to prevent uh, the base from soaking from the rain so this is uh, what we use to plane the concrete and this will be the brooming and the finishing so we we finish the surface using this um, uh, handmade planer and broomed when it will be uh, when the concrete already sets in. So this is to create the groove that is required by all roads, concrete roads. Here it is. The concrete pouring is finished, and we are waiting for it to set already so final finishing touches and doing touches and this will be good july 10 2020 the next day we are cutting the construction joints at every 4.5 meters <laughs> 